Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for Classic and welcome to Benchart. So for today, what I have in here it is Control. This game it is developed by Remedy, which is one of my favorite game developers of all time. Possibly because I didn't add internet at the time that Max Payne 1 and Max Payne 2 was available and I had both games and I played them a lot. I mean, I finished Max Payne 2 more than 20 times. I also have Quantum Break, which I didn't care that much, but I had Alan Wake, which I loved a lot. So looking to the settings in this game, you see that this game features a render resolution, or resolution scaling, and the minimum that you can go it is 540p. The entire rest of the settings are at minimum, the game forces DAA, so it is clearly noticeable that the game it is kind of blurry. But even with all these drop-down settings, you don't get a satisfactory performance. So most of the time the performance will be under 20 frames per second, and that for me it is unplayable. But you know me, I always try to find ways to make the games to work. So you need to go to your control game folder, the place where you install the game, and you will find a file called render.inite. So this is very simple to change. In these two lines, M underscore I render resolution X and Y, you just need to put the pixels that you want the game to scale. So for me, I decided to go with the bare minimum possible, all right, which is 640 per 360. This is a very, very low resolution. It is... <sighs> I don't even have comments. This is very low resolution, but lucky for us, this game it is mostly at close quarters and uses a very good TA solution, so despite it looks ugly, it isn't that really bad at all. Yes, it is kind of very bad comparing to 720p or any regular resolution, but it's... well, at least it actually plays well more and less. As you can see, the settings now looks like this. So, but... What are the requirements for this game? They are an absurd shit, alright? So for the CPU side, it is not really that demanding. It asks for an FX5350, it asks for 8 gigs of RAM, but on the graphic card size, oh my god, they ask for a GTX 780. This is a very high requirement comparing to our graphic card in here because our GT740M or a GT825M or a GT920M, they are all low-end kinds of graphic cards from the same architecture as the GT7, GTX 780. And the GTX 780, it was actually a very high, a very high-end product. So what they are saying is that you need that GTX 780, all right? But the fact is, it is not true because I was able to get an average of 33 frames per second with these tweaked settings that I use it in here, the 360p resolution. Although, and unfortunately, the performance tanks a little bit on the fightings and depending on the scenario that you are. For example, on the test area that I decided to use, the minimum frame that I have actually saw with this resolution, it was 25 frames per second. But then I decided to continue to play without recording and without registering the frame rate. What I did found out is that there are obviously areas much more demanding than the ones that I have decided to test and I have found areas where the performance was at around 22 frames per second while fighting and shooting. Unfortunately for me uh, it is kind of a mixed bag if you should really buy the game with this performance or not. I mean the game it is fine, it, it seems well optimized with the low settings it is just our PC is getting too old to handle these type of games and since this is a third person shooter and actually the game it is very challenging I kind of feel that possibly something lower than 25 frames per second it is already too bad so I will leave to you to decide but let's just remember one thing too both consoles are having extremely issues with frame rates in this game especially on the fighting scenes the frame rate also tanks a lot so if you are thinking that, okay, I'm going to buy it for uh, my PS4 or, or for my Xbox One S and I'm going to experience a game with 30 frames per second locked out, locked down um, frame rate, well, the reality is not even like that because both consoles also struggle a lot with the frame rate in these games. So, yeah, 
but at least you have good graphics and good resolution on the consoles but like i said let's get back to this specific laptop unfortunately for me the resolution is bad the graphical settings are at the minimum and the performance tanks sometimes between 20 to 30 frames per second so for me it is complicated to recommend especially with the price that they are asking for the game they are asking a full price for the game 59.99 i really think that the game deserves the money it's not the quality of the game that i'm kind of questioning in here what i'm questioning in here in here if you should waste 59.99 in a game that will run bad to you and that you need to use a very low resolution in order to work so in my opinion if you really want to play this game i should recommend you to buy this game later when you have a better system or even a console or at least when you buy when it gets to a discount all right so guys i think that's all that i want to talk about controls performance and game itself hope, hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video there is much more gameplay to be had in this video so keep watching and i do hope to see you soon Goodbye. There it is again. Our welcome message.
said that the hotline could reach through the mail. There's a key nearby. This must open the door. 